how you test. I don't think I had any idea what I was getting into at the beginning of this project. I've only seen a Florida panther twice with my own eyes. The animals that we're trying to film and photograph are super elusive. There's very little chance of seeing one with a camera in my hands to film it in real time. So by using camera traps, we're able to capture photographs and video the world has never seen. To get to these places, sometimes we're wading waist deep through a swamp. Some places, you're deep into the wilderness where you're going by truck and then ATV and then hiking to get into these really remote places. Other times you're getting out of your truck on the side of the highway, going through a chain link and barbed wire fence and setting up a camera to underpass right there beneath the semis and thousands of cars whizzing by every day. We've had cameras burned by wildfire, drowned by hurricanes, toppled by black bears, stolen by poachers, shot by a hunter or an angry landowner. Oh, oh, that's the bullet. That's it. That's the bullet, I think. And it's taken years to get these images. When people open up the magazine and they see that Florida panther jumping off the page, they might not know how difficult it was to capture that image. When I stuck my pole out in about waist deep of water, a big alligator came up and nailed me on the hand, knocked me backwards. Pretty sure a case of mistaken identity. This gator wasn't trying to eat me. But it's a reminder out here, we're in these swamps all the time and you can get a little bit cavalier and forget that we're entering somebody else's world and it's a really wild place still. And in some cases it's taking me more than two years, in one case five years, to capture the photograph that has the elements for the pages of National Geographic magazine. What this project has given to me is a chance to spend lots of time in places like this. This has been a passport to discover some of the most amazing places I have ever been. It still blows my mind that these places still exist and we still have a chance to save them. I know why I'm so sad is because we love this place so much and I feel lucky that I get to take volunteers and people out here to show it to them but to me that's still not enough like I wish I could show everyone how special this place is. You know, I, I end up falling in love with these places and I don't know, it's something that it becomes like, becomes part of you in a way and then it's like turning a chapter when we take a system out. It takes weeks to find the spot, set up the camera and it'll take about two hours to pack it up and carry it away. So, And Sunday is the end of our, our permit into the project here. So. I don't want to leave. <clears throat>